We've all seen the headlines. A seemingly healthy young athlete dies of a heart attack in the middle of a game or practice. It's rare, but it's devastating. So the tricky thing about young athletes is that it's probably the healthiest segment of the population. These are vibrant, athletic kids um, who, up until now, never thought anything was wrong with them. Typical teenager, invincible. And so the thought of potentially having a permanent, lifelong, life-threatening condition is something that is beyond off the radar screen. Everybody agrees across the country that a very good personal and family history and physical really needs to be performed because over 90% of warning signs um, for something bad will be picked up in one way or the other. Either a child has had symptoms, concerning symptoms, um, suggestive of an underlying potential life-threatening cardiac abnormality, such as chest pain with exertion, syncope during exercise, abnormal heart rates or palpitations during exercise, unexplained shortness of breath mid-exercise compared to peers. Este Efron, a 17-year-old competitive dancer, had many of these symptoms. I was at a football game, just like watching it, and then I started feeling funny and like I felt my heart and it was like pounding and like going really fast. I just kind of sat down and it lasted for a while and all my friends were asking me like, are you okay? You don't look good. I could see a lot jumping out of her chest. One of these episodes landed Este in a local emergency room. They identified an alarming tachycardia, a fast heart rate, and transferred her to Children's Medical Center. We did a study on her, and we were able to find that she had an extra electrical piece of tissue, um, something called wolf parkinson white syndrome, which attached the top chambers of her heart to the bottom chambers of her heart in a way in addition to the normal. And in her particular case, this extra piece was life-threatening to her. This, this particular case was easy for us because it was actually very amenable to a technique we have called an ablation, where we can go in there, find this extra piece, and in her case, we were able to burn it um, using radio waves and got rid of it for her. And now she doesn't have the potential to do this anymore. And she can go on and lead a normal, happy, healthy life. Doing a thorough physical exam, taking a good family and personal history, and following up with a heart exam if necessary will go a long way toward catching potentially life-threatening cardiac issues in young athletes. If you do these histories and physicals, and especially in the state of Texas, there's this form that the UIL website puts out that really goes through very detailed focused cardiovascular history um, and family history. And if you really not only make sure that the student and his parent signs off on it, but that someone actually looks at, at what was signed off on, you know, before clearance, you will actually be able to catch a lot of these at-risk students and make sure that they go on to getting further evaluation, further detailed evaluation before you can them to play sports.